Good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning and um, I trust you had a good night rest. The children are still in bed. I'm, a, I'm alone again in the kitchen this morning. This morning I am going to prepare um, native garden egg sauce served with bodium native garden eggs sauce served with baldium as usual i've got my ingredients um laid out here before me i've got my main ingredient here which is the garden egg in my local dialect yoruba it is called iba although the ones i grew up to now are usually green and larger than this but these are the types that are sold in, this is the type, normally the common type I sold in London. So it still serves the same purpose. That's the garden eggs and the proprietor of garden pepper. We love pepper in my house. Yes, that's hot pepper. And that's about um, four um, hot pepper in that. Actually, I'm going to reduce it to three, so I'm going to take one out. I've got a bulb of onion. I'm going to chop this onion. I've got um, my um, no keep, no chicken cubes for seasoning. And I've got salt to taste. I will only put the salt if um, the seasoning is not sufficient to cover it. And I've got a very important key ingredient. Palm oil. I'm going to use about one cup of this from this palm oil. And also to serve it with, I'm going to use um, um, yam. I cut this yam and put it in the fridge from last night so it will be easy for me to prepare so that I won't be late for church today. So I've already cut it, and what I'm going to do now is put all this in a pot to boil. That's my uh, sliced yam in the pot. I'm going to add um, two, about two tablespoonful of salt. That's one tablespoonful. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to instead of adding two tablespoonful of salt, I'm going to add one tablespoonful and one teaspoonful of salt. So this is one teaspoonful now. And then add water. This way to be almost covering it. Cover up and set to boil. And for my garden egg, I'm going to chop this and cut it to as into. Depending, depending on what size it is, I'm going to cut it in like this one. I'm going to cut it into half, half. Probably this one, cut it into three. This is to ensure that um, it is properly cooked evenly and um, cook, that it cooks quickly. They're all chopped now, so I'm going to pour this in another pot. Add my hot pepper. Add water. Water is going to be drained out anyway, so it doesn't matter how much water I put. So, just want to make sure it is properly cooked for easy mashing. And then cover up and allow to cook. But my yam and garden egg are currently boiling on this um, cooker. So in the meantime, I'm going to chop my onions. Um, my yam is properly cooked now, so I'm going to drain out. Of, I'm going to drain out the water set aside so that side of the dish is done 
and there is my garden egg. It's um, properly cooked and soft now, so I'm going to drain it out of the water and put it in a bowl, ready to mash. I've drained out the excess water, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use this, my small mutter, and smash it. You smash it to as much to the um, level of coarseness you'd want it. If you want it smooth, you make it try make it smooth. If you want it to be coarse with some lump inside, it's your choice. So I'm going to smash this. I mean, mash this now to my um, taste alongside the pepper. And that's my my um, the um, result of my mash. That's the way I'm going to leave mine. I've set my pan on the cooker, and I'm going to add about one cup of um, palm oil. And you can use any oil of your choice. It doesn't necessarily have to be palm oil. But uh, I grew up knowing. You see, I grew up knowing that. Um, I mean, I grew up watching palm oil being used to cook it. You can use granite oil. You can use vegetable oil. You can use sunflower oil. It is your choice. It is your meal. So you can use any oil of your choice. But and again, my husband prefers. The local the food or the more native the meal, the more he enjoys it. So he loves the um, native food. I'm using palm oil, and it tastes better with palm oil. Anyway. I'm just waiting for the palm oil to heat up. I had to take a little bit out out of the one cup of palm oil because I noticed that um, when palm oil melted, it appeared as if it was too much. So I took about um, a quarter out of it. I'm now going to add my chopped onions. And I'm going to saute for about one to two minutes. If you like to add pepper or dried pepper, whatever pepper at this stage, you now you can add it. But um, as you remember, I already add my pepper alongside the garden eggs. I boiled it with garden eggs and I've mashed it together with pepper. But if you need to, if you didn't do that and you want to add pepper, this is the stage at which you add your pepper. My onions have been sautéing for about two minutes now. I'm now going to add my mashed garden eggs and hot pepper mixture and then stir properly to stir it for it to be um, properly incorporated with palm oil and the onions now I'm going to add my no chicken cubes, season it. I'll check for taste to see if I need um, salt. I need a bit of salt, so I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to cover it now and allow it to simmer for about two to three minutes on a low heat. For the everything I put to be properly incorporated. That's um, my garden egg sauce done. You can serve this as I said earlier with boiled yam, fried yam, or potatoes. It's um, your choice, and some people can even eat it as it is with vegetables. So it is all done. It's tasty. 
I tell you that. If you love this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will even appreciate your feedbacks. Okay? Thank you for watching. I'll leave a picture of the um, my mirror after serving it at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful Sunday and a blessed, a great and blessed week ahead. Leave your comments, share and like and even subscribe if you love my videos. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.